Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with another episode of Have That Style for a While. Sorry for this weird lighting. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. Anyway, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a Dutch braid on your American Girl doll. First of all, this is what a Dutch braid looks like if you didn't know already. But for this hairstyle, you are going to need an American Girl doll hairbrush. A spray bottle that's optional <laughs> and um, hair ties so there we go so I have these two hair ties and I like to use the smaller one especially if I'm using or if I'm doing double Dutch braids but you can still use a bigger one if you only want to do one so the first step is to brush out your doll's hair American Girl suggests that you start at the bottom and work your way up just so the knots don't go to the bottom of the hair and turn into frizz. And just spray if you need it. Alright, so now that you have it all brushed out, you just need to take a little piece from the front. That's how big mine's going to be. The smaller the piece, the longer it's going to take, and the smaller it's going to start, and it's just like a whole effect that happens. It is very pretty if you start with a smaller piece, but it is very time-consuming, and I do not recommend it. I can't even do it, and I've been Dutch braiding for a couple of months now. Sorry about that angle change, but she just had to be on the floor. Um, anyway, so you're just going to take your piece, brush it back... And that part doesn't need to be there. Now we're just going to split it into three sections like you would for a normal three strand braid. And now that we have these three sections, instead of putting one over it, we're actually going to put the one on the side under it. It's a bit different. So this is kind of hard to remember that you should always be putting it under. And if you know how to French braid, it's pretty much French braiding. But instead of putting it over, you're putting it under. So I like to do this about three to four times, just so you can really get that braid locked in. And then when it's time for to do it again, this time we're going to take our piece and take some hair from the head and add it to the piece and put it under. Or you can think of it as the middle being put over it whatever you want to do and just keep repeating this process and the first time you might not get it super tight but just every so often make sure you're tightening it along the way and I do like to have my other side like put to the side and put in a rubber band just so I'm not accidentally pulling from the other side and since my other one is already in a in a braid I don't really need to worry about that and then you're just going to repeat this effect going on and on and you're going to try to get all of your hair into this dutch braid before you hit the bottom of the head because you cannot dutch braid the hair if it's not on the head I mean you can it just looks really bad you you don't want to try it, it it's a fail and remember to try to put it if you're wanting it to be braided back, braid back. Don't braid it in the front. I mean, you can if you want that look, but that's not the current look we're going for over here. Alright, so I'm almost done. And once you're done with all of the hair, then just braid it like a normal braid. Make sure that you're going under and not over. Alright, so I tied it off and just brush through the ends and um, my last step that I normally do I'll take the spray bottle and spray on the Dutch braid just so in a few days when you take it out it'll be a little curly and if you want it really curly then you can spray this quite often but now in a few days it's going to be super curly when we take it out so this is the full hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned how to Dutch braid. I'm sorry, I can't really explain it. It's kind of really weird. You just have to watch it. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!